My experiments with this receiver will involve changes that can easily be reversed if they do not work. Then the worst that can happen is I end up with the AM FM radio that I bought. I've soldered three fine wires to various parts of the board where I need to tap things off either for the band control or the antenna. If I was doing a permanent modification, I would remove the resistors. But since I'm trying it temporarily, and this is a voltage divider, I will keep them. The voltage on pin 15 is what changes the bands. So if I put a substitute variable resistor in where the fixed resistors were, I should be able to change bands. We've got a 270k resistor here and some other resistors up here. So if we keep the band switch in FM position and we put some resistors in parallel here, we should be able to change bands on the receiver. The substitute potentiometer does need to be quite a high value. I would say 250 to 500k. The shortwave antenna connection is one lead from the ferrite rod. You can just see it here, and it's the side connecting to pin 4 of the IC. I haven't yet got a front end. I'll couple the antenna with an 18 picofarad disc ceramic capacitor. If you're going to really use this for shortwave listening, you'd likely remove the tuning potentiometer and replace it with one with a large dial and preferably one of a smaller value in series to operate as a band spread control. With this, I'm just using a metre of wire attached but I do have the antenna wire about 20 centimetres away from it so that might be interacting. When I move my metre of wire nearer the antenna cable then you do get some breakthrough. Nine WFV is the call sign I'm getting. It's not an amateur station because it's just continuously sending Morse. If I was properly organised, I would look at the data sheet and work out what voltages correspond to which bands, and then I would be able to get a better idea as to what band I'm actually tuned to. But since there are, I think, 10 or 11 bands on this receiver, I haven't got an indication. I'm pretty much randomly listening to bands. Okay, I think I've finally picked up a shortwave broadcast station.
This is the meter or so of wire. This is the antenna connection. When I have them too close, I get breakthrough. But when I have them spaced a bit further apart, I can just hear something here. And since shortwave stations are normally in bands, there should be other stations fairly close by. There's another one there. Might be the same one. Now this receiver is very, very sensitive. I've got the antenna lead not even connected and some distance parallel to my meter long wire antenna. But I am picking up signals. And I know it's shortwave because the fading is not what you normally get on AM and FM. But I'm getting it on several adjacent frequencies. I'll try another shortwave band. I'm getting something here. Finally, a really strong station. We'll now try another band.
This is with even looser coupling, only 10 centimeters of wire from the radio. And I've just got the um, antenna lead near there. Now I've moved away from the antenna, just got my thumb on the short length of wire and it's still picking up a signal. In fact, it seems to be better with the looser coupling. To conclude, it does work. You need to make just three simple connections and add two components, a variable resistor and a small coupling capacitor to make this receiver receive sections of the shortwave spectrum. As to whether it's any good or not as a receiver, I'm not sure, I'll need to do more work, but you can certainly pick up international stations. Just try and avoid overload from local broadcast stations by very loosely coupling the antenna. The receiver is very sensitive, so even something like a metre wire or less should be sufficient. It seems to be quite frequency stable, but bear in mind this test was only done with AM broadcast stations. There are some other applications, for instance this receiver is so cheap you could potentially make it into a single channel AM receiver. That could be useful for something like WWV if you're in an area that reliably picks it up on 5, 10 or 15 megahertz. Or if you're into AM on amateur radio, there might be an AM channel on 80 or 40 meters that you can set this radio to. To do that, you just need to set up a resistive voltage divider so you can only cover the one band, though you might be able to adjust the switching around the AM FM control so you can switch two bands. You just need resistors of the appropriate value. Because the tuning is very finicky, you may also want to modify the tuning arrangement. You can do that, as I mentioned before, putting in a substitute variable resistor with a larger control knob or you could try resistors in series with the existing tuning control so you're then only tuning a much narrower frequency range. It's a little bit fiddly, does involve messing around with surface mount components in a little way but there's enough room in the receiver probably to do that.